When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me away, Christmas. In quite a few shops and Christmas markets we have seen something called beer de Noel, so Christmas beer. And we were very interested to find out what makes a beer Christmassy. So we bought a bottle and we are now going to try it out. Okay. So I've just read up about the Christmas beer and oh, it yeah. actually comes from Northern Europe. It was actually used to celebrate Yule. Uh, rather than Christmas, but obviously with Christianity, it's now kind of celebrates both. But it, it used to be brewed specifically at Christmas time to celebrate winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year. And they used to brew it that way because they couldn't make beer last long, uh, especially in summertime, the, the beer would go off. So they made beers according to the season. Different beers would be made at different times of the year. So Christmas beer will be made in winter time. It's quite a strong ale and often it contains kind of, uh, Christmas spices. I don't think this one does. I can't taste any spices in it, but it is a strong darkish ale. Over the years we have spent Christmas in many various places, including the Sossus Way in Namibia and New Orleans and the Grand Canyon in the US. But this year we're spending it in a little French village. We have woken up and we're now going to walk down to our local patisserie and get some croissants for breakfast. We've been hearing that church bell every day from about 8 a.m. till about 7, 8 p.m. every single day, right on the hour. And this time, we walk right past it when the bell rang. This, a little. One euro forty-three. Uh, fifty euros each, these. Uh, sure. Oh well, you don't need the very expensive champagne for um. Yeah, um, for bucks fizz. It's nice and easy drink for um early well, I was going to say afternoon, but it's not quite afternoon. <laughs> Got about 10 minutes before it's afternoon some, starts. It's afternoon, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's afternoon. It's Christmas. Somewhere. Okay, I think they're ready. These are the spiced gingerbread cookies. We just need to now ice them. This is our Christmas Eve dinner. See the Christmas tree we made last night. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> At least it's something. We have come out for a walk today and it is incredibly warm. When we came to this area in the, at the end of November, it was all covered in snow, but now that it's Christmas, all the snow has melted and it's, it's really warm. It must be like 10 to 12 degrees, I would think now, and there's no wind, so it really feels more like spring weather. Wow, it's, the water level has really wow. risen a lot. A couple of weeks ago we were walking here and um, there's a walkway going on around the, the lake but it's completely flooded and this walkway here is also completely flooded. Look at the platform we went on, you can't even get to it. Wow, we were standing on that platform before and you can't even get to it now. That's insane.
<laughs> you, you just completely could not get to it now. Mm -mm. The pontoon looks like it's lifted to full height though. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, being a good few feet of water walking in that. So I think it's gone up by maybe two meters even. We're now actually so warm that we have taken our coats off. It is remarkable how warm it is today. But I guess that's why the snow has melted from all the uh, higher areas, which has flooded the river. We might try and drive to one of the waterfalls, because the waterfalls at the moment will probably be incredible and powerful. It's now the 27th of December. We've gone out for a drive today. Miserable out there, raining a lot. 2021 is almost finished. Wow. We've been cooped up in the house over Christmas, so we were desperate to get out, but unfortunately the weather has taken a turn and it's gone a bit miserable but it's quite warm still. It's like 10 degrees Celsius outside and all of the snow has gone. This area a couple of weeks ago was piled with really thick snow. Maybe the snow was maybe like half a meter deep and now it's com all completely gone. There's none here. We found a lake that has ice on it. All of that is ice. You can see where the water stops rippling. The water's rippling here and then kind of stops and becomes very still. That's because it's covered in ice that bit. It just feels good to be out and walking. We had a bit of a cabin fever being sat inside. Oh, you found some ice on the path. Well, we might not have found snow. We found some ice. We found some ice. Do you hear that noise? The ice is making a very cool noise. Yeah. Oh, nice, made wow, that's cool. Wow, it's a really cool noise it makes. Let's throw a big one and see what happens. Are they ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go for it. This is probably going to break it though. But make sure you throw far. <laughs> oh. Alright, take three. <laughs> really? That? Take four. No. Oh no, 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 that did land. <laughs> Straight through. <laughs> Plump. There's an actual river across the path. Yeah, it's very, very slippery. Huh. No, we're definitely not going to get across that. Oh, well, we might be able to walk up around by it. But how are you supposed to go around it? Maybe um, normally it's much lower? Because the path just goes here and on. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Even just getting to here was fun. Any time you like now. Well done. We went from not being anywhere near snow to deep in snow. We've just stopped to the side of the road because we haven't seen this much snow for quite a while. I think since we went to Chamonix. It's beautiful here. Well, look how much snow there is. When I 
everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night. It's Christmas, a winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy. Give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! We finally found a somewhere to stop. Stop, yeah. Yeah, lunch. Uh, With glimmering silver wine. You dance. There we are. Park to the side of the road. And I want to go and see the sport for. We finally managed to find the walk. So yeah, we should definitely go on it. Snow is really hard on the foot. We should try. We could. Okay, which we coats, should. Which coat do you want, Julia? I'll go and get them or you want to all yeah. come over. <laughs> Somebody is very excited to be in the snow. This can be our New Year's walk. New Year's Eve walk in the snow. Yeah, now I'm tired. They're not sinking into the snow at all. It's really, really hard and compacted. We are now going for a walk in a snow covered forest in the mountains of Jura. And it's New Year's Eve, and finally the weather has gone really nice after being cloudy and rainy for a quite a few days. But today is beautiful, it's about 10 11 degrees Celsius as well. Can I just come past the wall? It's a bit treacherous on the foot, especially when walking down, because it's quite slippery. It's solid. Yeah. If you break the surface, then you get a, a bit that's. <laughs> And this big one. <laughs> really? Are you kidding? No. 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 <laughs> We're now sat in the snow sunbathing. <laughs> Me and Julia put our coats in the snow and I just sat on top of them and enjoying the sunshine. I'm doing a bit of sunbathing. Because why not? It's lovely and warm and you don't often get to sit on top of the snow sunbathing. People that are driving past us keep staring at us, probably thinking we're crazy, but we're having fun. Aren't we, Julia? Are we having fun? Look, I'm good at singing.
That's high. Yeah. Just a bit, isn't it? Just a bit high. That's uh, that's got to be uh, over a hundred meters high. That, yeah. if not more, maybe a couple of hundred meters. It is New Year's Day today, and we are back at the um, canyon that we visited yesterday to go for a walk up to the waterfalls that we could see from the top of the canyon. It's supposed to be a very easy walk, an hour return. This is such a beautiful walk. We're walking along the Flumen River. We should get up to the base of the waterfall, but just the walk itself is beautiful. We're surrounded by high cliffs. We've got a crossroads here. There are no signs, but I assume it must be the lower one. Ah, uh, yes, I think it's the, the white trail that yeah, we follow. So I think it must be the lower one. We're walking past these trees that are covered in this beautiful green moss. Look at that. It's just so beautiful here. Absolutely loving the Jura Mountains. I'll be a little bit sad to leave in three days. But we'll be heading to Italy, so that should be really exciting. Definitely do not want to fall into this water. And we can see through our feet. Okay. That says private parking, but how are you gonna get a car up here? We went the wrong way somehow. I'm guessing many people have done that then, yeah. if they've made the trail. We went the wrong way, yeah. that was the wrong way. But, you know, as usual, when the road splits, they yeah. don't put up a sign no. of where you actually need to go. Well done. You've done your own. I can see the uh, waterfalls and wow, that's incredible. The path is, um, yeah, it's gone. Wow, you can see there's three big cascades. Let's see how close we get. We're already getting spray from the water, even at this distance. There has been a lot of meltwater, that's why they're so powerful at the moment. That's amazing. Well, that was just amazing. Way more fun than I expected it to be. We are back at the car now, and I'm so glad we did that walk. Yesterday, when we were driving onto the top of the canyon, I could see the two of the cascades, so I googled it. And in the photographs that I found on Google, the flow of the water wasn't exactly impressive. It was a little bit more than a trickle. We have recently had quite a lot of floods around here. During the uh, beginning of December, there was a lot of snow, a lot of snow in this area. But it all melted and all the snow has melted from the high up mountains now as well. And all the uh, rivers and the lakes have fl flooded quite a lot. So the waterfalls in the moment are extremely impressive. That was beautiful and really really powerful. We are now completely drenched. My legs and my bum are soaking but it was so worth it and really woke us up after New Year's Eve festivities. 